it is planting time on the farm. So we are continuing a long process of seeding a lot of our seedlings here on the farm. We're going to do a second round of zinnias today, so I thought I would show you how we go about that. So we've used a lot of different seed starting mixes over the years on the farm and we've mixed our own as well. And the one that I like the most is the black gold. It is just the seedling mix, so it's soilless. It's got a mixture of um, peat and all sorts of other good things in it. And you'll see when I pour it, pour it out that it's very light. It's got some perlite in it. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna fill the whole tray with the seed mix. So every cell is full. Because the soil mix is so light and fluffy, uh, what we do is we go through and we just kind of push it down in each cell just to make sure that the soil gets fully into that cell and there are no air pockets in there. I'm gonna kind of shuffle the soil back over. You'll need a little bit more. Just make sure you got it all covered up. Then once we get to this point, we're gonna wanna make some holes for the seeds to go in, which uh, I have this handy dandy tool that my dad helped me make. It's just a piece of wood and we took a whole bunch of little skinny dowels and we used the drill press, we glued them in there and they perfectly fit into the cells. So as I go through, I kind of shift them a little bit and they create little holes for the seeds. Next step, you've probably guessed, is to plant the seeds. So we do have some seeders that we use for smaller seeds, but these zinnia seeds are pretty large. So I just take a little, little pinch one goes in each hole. That punch that we use to make the holes gets it to a really great depth, but sometimes the seeds hang up on the top, so you may have to go through and just kind of poke them down. Every seed is a little bit different as far as how deep you want to have it in the, seed, in the soil. Um, zinnias are a pretty big seed, so we can plant them well covered. So we're gonna go through and seed them all, and then we'll come back and just smooth it over and make sure we have everything covered up. I'm just going to finish up the flat and then kind of keep an eye out as you're going to make sure that everything gets set down in there and if it doesn't you want to go back and just kind of poke them in make sure they get down deep enough then I'm just going to smooth over keep an eye out for those ones that might not have gotten seated in the dirt and there you go so I will take these inside and put them under the lights and get them growing. So it's been about four days since we seeded these in the greenhouse. After we seed them, we bring them inside and put them underneath the lights. So this is our light cart, one of our light carts. You can see these are just normal shop lights. There's three light fixtures per shelf and four flats per shelf. Keep the lights pretty low to the top of the flat so that the seedlings don't have to stretch too much. So I bring them in, set them underneath here, and then I fill those solid bottom trays with water about two thirds of the way up the cell. That'll keep make it so that the soil sucks up all the water and keep them nice and moist to get those seeds germinating. After that, the lights stay on 16 hours a day. They're on a timer. So they come on, go off. I don't ever have to think about it. And the next step is once these get a little bit bigger, we're gonna put them out in the field. So from under those light carts, seedlings on the farm go one of two places. They either come here to the field and get planted out directly or they go to the greenhouse and they get bumped up to soil blocks. I have a whole nother video on soil blocks you can check out, but these ones, the zinnias that we seeded, came straight to the field. So you can see that they've been planted out in semi-straight rows. There's no reason to be perfect. And over here you can see that this is a succession that we planted two or three weeks earlier so that we'll continue to have really nice, fresh zinnias throughout the summer. So this is what it looks like. Um, we'll come back, I'm sure, and show you in another video, keep an eye out for what all this beauty looks like, but there it is, seed to the ground. Thanks for swinging by the farm.